out on the range today, so bear with gunfire you hear in the background. Today we're talking about single action revolvers for personal protection or concealed carry. Well, the guns may vary, but if you're carrying one of these, you most likely have it loaded with five or six rounds. And most of these are equipped with a loading gate ejector rod system that allows you to eject one empty casing at a time and then reload one round at a time. As compared to the 15 plus one, 18 plus one, 20 plus one capacities of some auto loaders. And when it comes to reloading, I can reload this auto loader faster than I can reload one round into the single action revolver. And as far as shooting goes, because you have to cock the hammer for each shot, they're slower to shoot than double action revolvers or auto loaders. Now yes, there are some very talented people out there that can shoot single action revolvers faster than some people can shoot auto loaders. Yes, there are. But for the great majority of us, that's just not the case. Now, single action revolvers do have a couple of advantages. The way they're designed, a lot of them can be fitted with grips that are really quite small. And if you have a small hand, that can be an advantage. And in reality, most citizen involved shootings are resolved with less than six rounds. So the slow reloading becomes moot. And the 18 shot magazine on pistols like this are not a bad thing, but quite often they're not the great advantage they're perceived to be. So although a single action revolver would not be my first choice, it doesn't leave you as short as you might think, and there's no question it sure beats nothing. So if a single action revolver is what you're going with, let me show you a couple of shooting and reloading techniques that might help you out. Single action revolvers have to be cocked with each shot. That means with each shot you have to take your firing grip off the gun. To avoid having to do that, with my support hand, I will take a stance where my support thumb is on the back of my firing hand, and I will cock the revolver with my support hand. This should be faster and more accurate. So let's see how this technique works, shooting at these knockdown plates. Not bad at all. So when shooting those knockdown plates, cocking with the left thumb seems to work pretty well. But what about when you initially come out of the holster? Well, there are those who would tell you that you should still cock with your left thumb. Get your good firing grip, bring the revolver out, find your support hand, cock with your left thumb as you bring it up. So it would look something like this. Personally, I disagree with that. Remember, we're not talking about cowboy action. We're talking about concealed carry. And there may come a time when this hand is engaged, and so you may need to shoot point blank with one hand. So I recommend that for your first shot, as you come out of the holster, you, for the first shot, cock it with your gun hand thumb. In doing that, there's some very important things, mainly two of them. One, straight trigger finger. You should never have that finger on the trigger until you are on target. And two, this thumb, as you get your grip still in your holster, has to find that hammer, but you do not cock that hammer until you've already rotated it into a horizontal position. And you should practice this by the numbers. One, get your grip. Two, clear leather. Three, rotate and cock. Four, find your support hand, bring it up. Five, sights on target, pull the trigger. And so in, in fairly slow, it would look like so. Can I do that really fast? Not really, but we'll see how fast I can do it. And then of course for all subsequent shots, cock it with your left thumb. So let's go back to the plates and see how that works out with live ammo. So we'll come out of the holster and we'll do five one-shot drills. So what about reloading a single action revolver? There are a lot of ways to do it. Let me show you the technique that works best for me. Now this is a Ruger Vaquero, so when you open the loading gate, it'll freewheel the cylinder. Some models, like a single action army and some others, you have to put on half cock to freewheel the cylinder. Well, this has a transfer bar safety, so it doesn't even have a half cock. 
So you'll open the loading gate and then use your trigger finger in the cylinder locking notch to align the chamber with the ejection port. So turn the muzzle up and eject the empty casing. With the muzzle up, gravity helps get that empty casing out. Then turn the muzzle down so in the new round, gravity can help put it in. Rotate the cylinder, do it again. Now, people will say, wouldn't it be faster to eject all six at once? Yeah, it probably would, but we're not talking about cowboy action shooting, we're talking about concealed carry. So getting a couple more rounds in there so you can get back into action if you need to is really important. Also, we're not talking about cowboy action shooting, we're talking about concealed carry. So you've got to be able to reload while still observing the area and not looking at your gun. So that's one reloading technique. Let me show you another. And you may have seen this one before. And this is a way that some of the old timers were able to reload guns like this very quickly. And that's how a lot of people used to do it when they did it. So there's 12 shots fired fairly fast from 7 yards. Single action revolvers may not be ideal, but they will get the job done if you use the right techniques and practice with them a lot. So as always, don't try this at home, I'm what you call a professional. Thanks for watching the single action revolvers for concealed carry video.